Hello, my name is Abe and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. Last run was awesome. It was a lot of fun. It was a very quick run. We had an amazing, amazing combination, a powerful gun, infinite ammo. It was the stuff of legends and it's a run that I actually don't like having to follow up with because uh, we're not gonna have Hyper Light Blaster, we're not gonna have Scatter Shot, we're not gonna have infinite ammo on an extremely strong gun with a whole lot of junk to back us up. Broccoli and everything. This is gonna be, statistically speaking, harder than the last run because I, I really doubt that we're gonna get such an amazingly good combination. So I, I feel like, especially early, it's gonna feel like we're not doing that well. It's gonna feel like we're going very slow, but we've gotta deal with it. We've gotta suck it up and deal with it because last run was an outlier, I think, getting that ridiculous combination. This run's going to start out more difficult and it's probably gonna keep being that more difficult for the entire thing here. But that's good. That's good, difficulty is nice in Gungeon. I wish that we could have picked up a, a super level of curse on the last run. We had an opportunity on the first floor, but I didn't wanna take it because, you know, Lament Configurum is not the most ideal Wet or an item to pick up on the first floor. It could hurt you and not give you anything good. And as a result, you might end up losing the run that you otherwise would have won. And with Shelaton Key, you know, that's a... I think, I think I'm learning not to value Shelaton Key as much as I have in the past, because as the robot, you don't necessarily want to always be... Uh, you don't want to necessarily always be opening chests. Sometimes you want to be destroying the chests and getting the junk out of it. So maybe something like Shelaton Key or the AK-47 is not what you ideally will want to have as uh, starting a run with the robot. Now, very, very simply, it would have been really nice to have infinite keys, but we didn't destroy too many good chests, mostly just like a couple of green chests, maybe like one green chest and then the rest were blue and brown, so you know. Not really that big of a loss, was it? Especially all things considered. So I think it was the right move on that run not to get cursed, super cursed. But maybe on this run, it would be the right move to get super cursed, you know? Maybe we're going to have a good opportunity to pick up a good item or gun on the first floor. And we're gonna want it. You know, I'll take a fight saber. I'll probably take a huntsman, at least to start with. It'll make it a little bit more difficult to flawless the first floor boss, but it's not gonna be impossible. Hell no. The thing about the uh, the Huntsman or the Fight Saber is that, yes, you're gonna have Lord of the Jam following you around, but those guns are very good defensively and you can still get the flawless relatively easily. It's definitely easier with the Fight Saber because you get the, the damage reflection, not just the damage blocking. I also feel like the uh, I want to see if the rat's gonna come. I feel like with the uh, Huntsman, it's also a little bit more difficult to get all of the uh, the shots on the screen, or near you anyways, destroyed by the reload because the reload animation is what ties it to whether or not it destroys bullets and the reload animation for the Huntsman is shorter and faster than the uh, animation for the fight saber, so I feel like fight saber is definitely much better. I mean, it's also a difference of one is like blue tier and one is like black tier, yeah. You know, you're, you're not gonna have an even, an even uh, distribution of gun power right there. One's gonna be much better than the other one. So we have the little bomber in the shop. Every time I don't open a secret room immediately, it's because I'm either wanting to use the blanks for boss fights or I'm thinking to myself, maybe we'll find a little bomber and we can go into a secret room for free. And now that we've seen it on this floor, we have a little bomber. We can go buy it whenever we want. After we fight the boss probably, because you know I would like to get a, a guaranteed boss drop, guaranteed gun drop from the boss anyways. Uh, we have a, a good opportunity here. I got stuck on the fucking door. Uh, we have a good opportunity here to get basically infinite blanks for finding secret rooms, and Little Bomber is also pretty good for just like opening up combat with. Uh, on the last run, you know, I took a little bit of damage on the first floor. This run, same damn thing. Took a little bit of damage on the first floor. It's not that big of a deal, but it is something that I, I would prefer not to have happen. I think we 
I think we ignore buying the blank. Uh, okay. 35. 55. 65. We can buy everything. So why not buy the blank? We're cursed. We're going to have a lot of money on the room. On the, the run, I should say. So let's... uh. Why the extra blank gives us a better chance at flawlessing the boss, and considering that it is a, uh, a jammed Bullet King, I feel like that is a good decision. And if we can save these blanks for the next floor, we'll save them. If not, they are money well spent, helping us to ensure the uh, the flawless. It's kind of that's kind of a bad time to have to use a blank, but whenever he does that attack with the bullet that comes out of the top of his throne, that's when you're going to want to do a, a blank. If you don't feel confident in your dodge, just use a blank. Let's see if we can't get this flawless, though. That's going to be big for us because we took one point of damage on the floor already. That was stupid, but it worked, and we did not get punished for that dodge. That was a pretty poor dodge, though, all things considered. I did not feel good about that. Just don't get caught in the frickin' door frame like you did on that one room. And honestly, if we have the blanks, we might as well use them for finding secret rooms instead of the, uh, the little bomber. No point in saving them, unless you have more than the number that you get back from the floor. Hate these jammed enemies, man. You know what? Just blank it. Oh my god! Right at the end there, he shot me point blank with that stupid attack that he always uses. But we got the mass shotgun. Mass shotgun is all right, and we got one armor drop from the uh, from the fight itself. That was a uh, that was very bad damage there. But I I still I'm not super worried. You know, I, I gotta stop being worried about the early damage on a uh, a run. We're still quite strong. We've got a couple chests we can destroy. We did not pick up any keys from the fight, and we na but we now have uh, infinite potential to. Uh, Find secret rooms. So it's not the not the end of the world here. It's still a good run. It's starting like a good run anyways. I might as well open this chest, because I am going to be destroying the other chest. And every time I find a brown chest, it seems to want to give me red hearts. That's that's not good. Last run in this run, same damn thing. It's like, oh maybe we'll uh Maybe we'll just uh, open the chest and maybe I'll get lucky and get an item or a key or HP. No, just a freaking red heart. Ugh. When AG and D comes out, it's also not going to be. I, 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 I'm still of the mind that the uh, the heart saving mechanic from A G A G and D is not going to allow you to save hearts between floors. But if it did, I really hope that there's going to be some sort of a, a buff to the robot to make use of all of these damn hearts because there's a lot of hearts that you seem to get on robot runs, especially out of secret rooms and, and chests. It feels like I just want just want to use the red hearts. Transform them, oh my god. Transform them into armor somehow. We picked up 50 credits from that broom drop. That is very awesome. Just wanna hit him with the actual shot because uh, at this early stage in the game, the, the shotgun primary shot will, will kill standard bulletkins. It'll take two shots if we uh, wanna kill a shotgunner. I mean, this is... I can't complain about the run yet. Yes, I wish I hadn't taken the, the stupid damage we took earlier, but it's... It's it's not that bad. I keep having to tell myself it's not that bad, because if I don't, I'll think to myself, Oh man, that's that sucks, that's bad. <laughs> Yo, you gotta actually hit with the primary shot. Or with the secondary shot, actually, the explosive. The end. Uh, that's a bad place to be. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't get all that punished for it. Is that dead eye dead? Hopefully. That was some very bad dodging, though. I will, I will readily admit that. 
somehow I didn't get hit by that blob. I, I, I hit him in the middle of my dodge animation, but it's still... The game decided... That I was not gonna take contact damage there. I thank you, game! I need this armor. I need this armor to stay around forever! Well, if we picked up that 50 credit, let's see if we can exchange it for health, and we can. And for keys, awesome. And we still have quite a bit of money. We can double down on picking up blanks, but we shouldn't need extra blanks for this floor. You know, unless we can buy an additional four blanks, we should probably instead Save the money, maybe buy ammo if we end up running low on the uh, mass shotgun here. I, I'm learning. I'm learning to appreciate this mass shotgun. It's a pretty good gun. This is good timing. A little close. <laughs> that was actually poor timing. I needed to jump into the middle platform, not the top platform. That was very close to being disastrous, but we made it work. We don't need to use mass shotgun, you know, in a room like this, at least until we get the, uh, the mutant shotgunners. You know, just using the robot's right hand is perfectly acceptable. I think we're still fine. What am I looking for? Well, we got a gun. It's a decent room clear. I'm looking for junk, honestly. Quite a bit of junk. Because I want this mass shotgun to be able to one-shot enemies on floor three, floor four, floor five, floor six. And right now, you know, we have we have one junk. Right now, we could probably one-shot enemies on floor three, but probably not on floor four or five. Bulletkins, anyways. That's usually what I'm talking about here when I'm talking about mass shotgun. We want to be able to one-shot the bulletkins with the primary blast. So if we need to get some distance, we definitely can. There we go. Maybe I should have been using mass shotgun instead of the robot's right hand, considering we got ammo, but... I mean, surprisingly, we're getting a lot of ammo drops. You know what? Pop the robot's right hand for a second. We needed it. Should have used the coolant, probably. Just to make it a little bit easier to kill the veterans and the dead eyes, but I'm very glad we didn't take damage there. We've only got six HP, that's not, that's not super good right now. Is that ghost on fire? I hope he was. Mass Shotgun was one of those guns that early on when I was playing Gungeon, I'm like, Mass Shotgun sucks. It doesn't even one shot kill enemies on later floors, and if you're too close, it's hard to use. I mean, yeah, if you're too close, it is hard to use, but that's that's still fine. I mean, as long as I keep killing them, I don't need. worry so much about uh, about those mutant shotgunners. I was just worried that they would fire at me at point-blank range and I wouldn't be able to dodge, but it worked out. These guys go into their cover very quickly. There we go. Approaching the first chest on the floor. another very oh god minor thing with the uh, mass shotgun is that you hit a uh, a pot with it or something the shot just kind of disappears although it, it seems to mostly affect certain props and not all the props still not quite exactly sure oh armor dude it is so good up to seven I mean you're a mimic I really should not be killing the Mimic now until I fight the boss. I could probably... That's not coolant, that's a bottle. I could probably have... Uh... Wait, which one's which? <laughs> this is bottle. 
This is cooling. Uh, I probably could have uh, waited until after the boss fight, but this is this is fine. Can I sell the bottle? No. You know, I, I'm tempted to keep the bottle because we could hold an ammo drop, and with the mass shotgun getting an extra ammo drop that we can use whenever the hell we want seems like a pretty good deal. The coolant is nice, though. Ah, da -da, da -da -da -da. The bottle we can also sell. Okay, let me think. I think I'm gonna stick with the coolant. Because we don't want to save hearts in the bottle. The thing that we would want to do is save ammo. And the mass shotgun is very ammo efficient, so I, I'm thinking, I'm leaning towards the idea that we actually don't need the bottle. We're not gonna need extra ammo on this run, hopefully. You know, if I can one shot kill most enemies, two shot kill other enemies, then ammo's not gonna be that big of a concern, will it? Yo, you gotta frickin' die. That was very close. I should have probably taken damage there, but we're fine. Yeah, let's let's use the uh, electricity. Also, let's make sure to flip over these damn tables. One of the few situations that table tech money is probably a good idea for this room. You know, with mass shotgun, it, it's really good at weakening enemies that don't die in one shot, clearing the room, and then we can always switch back the robots right hand when we want to save ammo in it. I, I don't know why, but I feel like I've got an ammo downgrade or something because I didn't take the bottle. I feel like I've got to try to be a little bit more efficient with my ammo, even though I don't really need to, do I? But I feel like it for some reason. Even just opening up a little bit of combat with mass shotgun shot is valuable. Oh, of course. I mean, I, I say that like, oh, there's the ammo, but honestly getting an ammo drop there is just fine. Just fine. Last guy's down here. Is this another freaking veteran? Are they seriously gonna give me four veterans on this room? I wonder if which enemy spawn is like a seeded thing? Because it definitely feels like sometimes you get more veterans than you would at any other, or on any other run. Guess we want mass shotgun robot's right hand. We can occasionally switch over to the shotgun mostly use robots right hand. I, I I screw that up a little bit. I kind of was like trying to get too cute with switching over to the uh, mass shotgun instead of worrying about my dodges. Almost took a little bit of dumb damage there. Like I really should just kind of wait for my moment. Don't abuse the mass shotgun if it's gonna cause you to lose a little bit of focus, potentially take some damage. I almost got hit by that bullet blobulon too. because it was kind of messing with my head. I do like fighting bosses with the mass shotgun, actually, because usually the mass shotgun allows you to stay at a, at a large enough range to bosses. Bosses don't rush you down all that much unless it's the Treadnought or Kill Pillars on that one phase of their fight. The damage from it is pretty good. All right. Extra armor is wonderful. And elephant gun is really good too. It's it's probably not as good of a gun as mass shotgun, but it is still fantastic. We'll use some of this stuff to try to find secret rooms. I guess I didn't check the green chest room for the secret room, because I thought to myself, I'll, I'll be back here later, you know? We've got little bomber, don't forget about that. So once I find it, no, 
that is that is a bad gun. There's nowhere to sell it either, so we are not going to be taking the Shella gun. I just don't like it. I don't think it's a very good gun anyways, but the fact that I would get Super Cursed for it makes it even worse because I, I just don't want it. I don't want the gun. I would never... The problem with this gun is that it is nice because it gives you a beam weapon that you can use on certain fights, but I would not use this gun. Like, if I picked it up, it, I'm never going to use it, unless I'm literally out of ammo with everything else. So I don't feel like I should pick it up to get Super Curse. I feel like it is totally not worth it. Absolutely not worth it. And if I take it down to the next floor, I can't sell it. Or I, if I try to sell it, I'm going to cause Lord of the Jam to appear. So, like, there's no point. There is no point. We're going to grab the old crest and we're going to get the hell out of here. So it was definitely valuable coming down here. Came down here with six HP, now we're at nine. Can't complain about that at all. We definitely needed a little bit of this HP. Sorry about that, just had to alt tab really quickly. Oh, I hate this room. I hate this room. Cause you get nothing from it. These stupid bullets don't give you any gold. And there's oftentimes a lot of them. These guys kind of remind me of the uh, the jammed key bulletkins. Maybe in the future when you can. You see, I think that I think these. These casings that we just picked up, I think those were spawned from the room, not from the enemies. But it's it kind of reminds me of the... Uh... Missed my shot. It kind of reminds me of the key... Bu uh, key bulletkins. The jammed ones. Oh, fuck. Well, we lost the old crest. I don't know how I, I, I keep screwing up my dodges in this room. It's a freaking Uzi Man. And also, I got caught in the doorframe. <laughs> Uzi Man getting caught in the doorframe, that's not very good. Yeah, it reminds me of the Key Bulletkin because they're so hard to kill quickly. I feel like it would kind of be kind of cool if you could get a, uh, like, more of a reward by killing the uh, the jammed bullets. But I guess if they just drop money, that'd be fine, too. Man, that was such, such bad damage to take. There was no reason for it. Totally, totally, totally no reason for that damage. It's got stuck on the door, and that Uzi man, he got me. All right, you know what? Yes, I could be using the Mega Shotgun. We don't need to. Gotta remember, still got the coolant. We can put out wicks if we want. Let's try to let's try to not take so much dumb damage, okay? Would have been nice to be able to go down to the the abbey, but I guess not. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. AK-47 Bulletkin, for not shooting me in the face. I very much thought he was going to shoot me in the face when I walked next to him, <laughs> but he didn't. We got another key drop. That's very good. We've got almost 200 casings. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Well, one thing that's good about losing the old crest is that we don't necessarily need to force the gun drop now. If, if we find some good guns on this floor, maybe we think that we are fine in terms of which, which guns we have. We can just get a passive or active from the, the boss fight. Glad you were not shooting me. But you still gotta go. You're not a you're not a professional. I don't gotta worry about you. Oh okay. good. Matt Man is gonna be great. We'll do the standard thing and check out his secret wall potential. There's nothing in those pots I already checked. But how are they still here? I guess the pots next to his uh, his corner 
the pots are all destroyed. Although, did I destroy them when I walked in the room? I can't remember. I don't think I would have, actually, because he would have said that line of dialogue already, wouldn't he have? Why can't ghosts always spawn this far away from me? Uh, we're just gonna open the chest. And getting an amulet is awesome. Yeah, here's the drop off point. Getting an amulet is awesome because it means that we go up to three every floor now. So I can definitely kind of like abuse my amulets on this floor, not worry about it. You, or abuse my blanks and not worry about it, you know. I'm not going to be lo missing out on as much blank potential now. I should still try to like, you know, buy blanks, stock up. But it's significantly less important now. I keep trying to like switch to the mass shotgun really quickly. I should just stick with the gun I've got, you know? Don't worry about it. Come on. Stop walking off the edge. I need you to stay at the corner so I can knock you into the pit. Another blank, nice. It is nice to be able to switch over to the, uh, the mass shotgun and one shot an enemy off of, uh, off of their spawn. It doesn't always work that way. Just keep abusing the robot's right hand. Found the shop, give me some good stuff. You've got nothing, nothing. I might as well just try to like buy those glass wand stones and keep them alive, but this is uh, not the best shop in the world here. You know what, you gotta get knocked in the pit. You gotta get knocked in the pit. You gotta die. Ooh, you missed. More like I missed, but... Those AK AK-47 bulletkins, they have a lot greater range than those ghosts I'm noticing. I'm gonna guarantee the gun drop first from the boss. That kind of looks like a secret room. Like the, the textures didn't really align properly. Felt like anyways. Chest, it's not a mimic. I'm just gonna destroy this one for junk. At some point, I need to pick up some junk. Pick up the key, we'll fight the boss. Then I think we will access the chest and the map man. Let's not forget about map man. Don't you forget about map man. I think the elephant gun and mass shotgun are gonna be fine here. Elephant gun specifically, pretty decent damage. As long as you can hit your shots. Coolant is worthless on the room layout here. I mean, it's worthless on this boss actually, just because we literally can't hit. I'm just gonna stick with the elephant gun instead of the, uh, the mass shotgun because it's more mindless. Just you click to shoot, you know. Your distance to the boss doesn't matter. I'll try to open with a mass shotgun shot. You know why not? For a little bit of extra damage. There we go. Easy. Gorgon is the ideal first floor boss, I think. Destroy your jammed bitch ass. Um, <laughs> we got the the master round. We got the bundle of wands. Bundle of wands is really good. I like it. Great damage. Good against bosses and rooms. We got the box, which lets us steal. Um, I think I'd rather keep the coolant because stealing is doesn't seem that interesting to me right now. Now, I mean, it would be nice to have an item. It would allow us to steal from shops. How did I phrase that? Did I phrase that super poorly? I, I am interested in it. I think I'd rather just stick with the, uh, the coolant, though. Let's let's see what's in this chest, though, first. Polaris! Ah, uh, Polaris is dope. He took the box, whatever, I don't care. Polaris is awesome. Polaris is gonna be our room killer of choice now. And on the third floor, we can very easily get the Polaris leveled up. After we get it leveled up, 
we can one hit kill most enemies. I will buy the Guan Stones and the key. We're left with 177 bucks. That's why I don't think that the box is that good for us right now because yes, you can steal with it, but we don't really need to. We've got so much money. The shops have been terrible. Now, if there's a, another shop and I can get like the owl or something, maybe I would be interested in stealing that, but you know, I gotta like the, uh, the coolant still. Allows us to put out wicks if we want. Gotta actually kill with the Polaris. You can't knock him into a pit. You don't get the points. As soon as we get this up to level two, we'll start feeling good about the Polaris drop. It'll take a little while to get warmed up, but once it's warmed up, we're good. Really need to just like pick an enemy and focus him down and stop trying to switch. Don't think that counted for the Polaris. You know, we're killing these guys via poison right now, which is kind of unfortunate. We're, we're gonna run out of Polaris ammo very quickly if we can't Get it leveled up soon. There we go. At least now it's halfway decent. We can two shot enemies instead of a million shot them. I will push that guy into the pit. If I can, I'll do it. Okay. Mr. Gunsling Man, what do you got for me? What do you got for me? Without taking damage. I would love to do that anyway, so this is a perfect opportunity for this. And it's an easy room. If you get easy rooms for a Gunsling King Man, you gotta love it. You get a hard room, it's like, oh, screw you. You're giving me the claw on this hard room? You know, this room is, uh, this room's good. You dead yet? You dead yet? There we go. Come on. Challenge complete. Let's get our money back. I like talking to Gunsling King Man first. I know that you can just straight up talk to Man Cervantes, but I like talking to him first. I don't know why. I like him to, I like knowing that he's impressed with me. He's like, oh ho, good show, chap. Young Slinger. Probably pretty close to level three. No reinforcements. I bet you we could kill the uh, the mage before we kill the Jamomancer, but this is fine. There's weapon level three. 138 shots is still efficient. It's still efficient to use this gun, but we've got to look for an ammo drop for it at some point. I'm, I would even buy one from the shop. At this point, it is totally worth buying an ammo drop from the shop to keep the, uh, the Polaris going. Accuracy on the gun is so good, too. Don't want to use a key. Might as well wait until we find both the chests and explore, make sure we can get into the frickin' shop. Oh, God damn it, I saw that coming. I didn't want to, I didn't want to blank it. Honestly, the players at level two is still fine, but I should have blanked it. I've got five frickin' blanks. It would have been much more valuable to keep the uh, the Polaris charged up to level three. That's that's my bad. But that's also one of my like least favorite enemy types right there. Those jerks that bounce around, they're invincible. They always, they never approach you, they wait because they just, they don't have AI for approaching, they just bounce around. I hate those guys, they hurt me so much. And we do have to expend a key to get into the shop. 
I can't help but feel like it's still worth it because we did get a key drop from the floor. We've got a lot of money. We can easily buy another key. And there will be a key in the shop because we haven't picked one up yet. We do have one key that spawned naturally on the floor. Did I pick up the keys in the past? Were there other key drops? I, I hope I picked them up. Sometimes I do forget that sort of thing. Like I just don't see the icon on the map or something. Knock you into the pit. Empty. Oh, robot's right hand. We should go to the shop though. We should get like another ammo drop. Never mind. Maybe now we won't go to the shop. We'll just stick with the Polaris level two and we'll fight the boss with that. How does that sound, huh? I mean, I guess we need to open this because if we don't, we lose it. I did not check for secret rooms here and I don't think we found the secret room yet. So let's, let's do this really quickly. It's not here. Okay, one key. I can go to the shop, buy a key, buy blanks, buy armor if they have it. We don't need an ammo drop now because we got the ammo drop for the Polaris. I would like to get the Polaris up to level three, but I think this is the boss fight right here, yeah. So level two is still fine. It is still acceptable. But yeah, I think we do go to the shop first. We know that this chest is gonna have a passive active in it, so I, I kind of do want to open it. We get the orange. Orange is okay. But it's basically paying for just a coolness upgrade, which is not the best. Unity. Unity is good. It's a, it's another damage upgrade, essentially. Maybe it's like a 10% damage upgrade at this point or something, but... Okay. Let's fight the boss. Polaris level 2. Let's not screw it up. It is the tank. I like the tank. I think the tank is a relatively straightforward, easy boss. Wish that we had a, uh, a speed upgrade, but it's okay. Oh! Gotta, gotta freaking watch where those bullets are coming from, you know? Okay, the tank was stuck on something, it looks like. It's good for me. You gotta die, you gotta die, you gotta die. Good. That freaking ball attack that the tank does, it kinda hangs out in the air. This one right there, that turret. I hate that. We're doing fine. Tank will go down. Use a blank just to make sure. Probably didn't need to use all those blanks, but I do not mind. We're gonna get a little bit more HP back. Frost Giant, which is all right. Not the best gun in the world. We have not found the secret room. So we will check this place here. No. Did we not find it? Yeah, we haven't found it yet. Not here. How much is the uh, orange? 91. I mean, it's an awesome item, but not for us right now. Uh, don't forget the key. Don't forget the thing you said not to forget. That would be bad. Okay, down to the next floor. Fourth floor, 300 shots in the Polaris, exactly one third depleted. Just checking, just to make sure. <laughs> I would hate for there to actually be something, something that I left behind and, and uh, I would just forget to buy it. No, 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 no. No, 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 let's, let's try to avoid that. I like this because it's a good opportunity to get the uh, Polaris a little bit more leveled up. There we go, weapon level three. That's exactly what I wanted. Polaris level two and level three, they're very ammo efficient, even at taking out bosses. Like, we used, what, 100 shots in the Polaris to take out the Treadnought? That's pretty good. Oh, I wish I could do this. Please let me use the Shrine. Uh, you know what? 
Maybe using the Super Curse Shrine is not what I want to do on this run right now at this moment. Just, just wait a second, you know? Skelly Man's not gonna do anything to you. So two shots to kill a, a, a jammed zombie. I forget what they're actually called, but let's, let's keep that in mind. Two shots to kill a jammed zombie. How many shots was it? Four shots to kill a jammed skeleton? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen shots to kill a jammed uh, agonizer. That kind of sucks. Don't hit the pot. I don't want there to be a freaking gun fairy here. More ammo. We take this for the Polaris. We we do not look a gift horse in the mouse mouth in the mouse, and we say thank you, game, for allowing us to keep using the Polaris. I need to stop worrying about the ammo efficiency and just keep shooting. Like I'm trying to count my bullets. Like how many sh shots does it take to kill a, a jammed bulletkin? Just shoot. Just shoot. Just shoot me. Well, this is a great shop. <laughs> Elder Blank plus Copper Amulet plus Armor. We can actually afford everything there. And if we do that, if we buy everything, we'll be super cursed. I think this is a good opportunity to do that, though. Because we will have the ability... Got Knight Armor. We will have the ability to one shot... Not one shot. We will have the ability to... Uh, get super cursed while having a good benefit, and that is having an Elder Blank and four Blanks per floor. That's that's pretty good. It's gonna make the dragon fight a little bit harder, but we also, all right, what I was gonna say is we have the ability to cheese the game and stay uncursed like this. As long as we keep using the Polaris and never switch guns on the next floor, it doesn't matter if we take the uh, Elder Blank. We're not gonna have Lord of the Jam follow us around. That's what I was trying to say in a very roundabout way. Now that's kind of breaking the game a little bit, but we could we could make it work. Yeah, just just shoot. I like this whole just shoot strategy. Don't worry about the ammo efficiency. Just kill things. We are getting a lot of jammed enemies, but it's just statistical variance, I think. Ah, good, 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 good. More, more ammo. I might want to take this for, like, the elephant gun, but I cannot say no to 150 Polaris shots. That is better than the elephant gun. If we get a couple of ammo drops in a row, yeah, I'll take it for the elephant gun. But as long as I still have... As long as I still have, you know, like... 150 shots down in the Polaris. I'm gonna be using the ammo drops for the Polaris, to be honest here. Like if I had an ammo drop right now, yeah, I'll take that for the elephant gun. It's a little bit crazy with the number of jammed enemies though. Now I'll take it for the elephant gun, what'd I say? We'll go back to the Polaris. Have not found the shop. I just wanna see if there's something in the shop worth getting over like the uh, Elder Blank. Cause I think I am gonna buy the, the Copper Amulet, 100%. I, I'm, I'm leaning towards buying the Elder Blank, but I, I'll probably wait until after this floor's boss. Cause I, I think Having this, this damage output plus five blanks is enough to guarantee the flawless. You know, we should be able to kill the boss with 100 shots in the Polaris. As long as they're not jammed. If they're jammed, maybe like 150. Go 
kill that dude. Yo, how come you're not dying? I thought I was hitting him, but he just wasn't perishing. Not a mimic. This one is gonna have a gun. Yeah, I have the beholsters pretty good. Honestly, we're getting very lucky on the gun drops here. These are all really strong weapons. In fact, I think these are all really good weapons. Little Bomber is the only one that might not be considered super amazing, but the fact that you can save blanks is a blessing. Here's what I should do. Sucker out the, uh... The, um, mountain cube. So that he creates water, and I can electrify the water. That's what I should do there. Two blanks, armor, key, buy the armor. We can we can afford everything still, so let's buy one blank, then we'll fight the boss, then we'll go back. I mean, actually, here's what we should do. Just freaking go uh, buy the copper amulet and then come back. And the armor. Ooh, I mean, we're gonna get one credit from the fight. It's a very good excuse to maybe not pick up the Elder Blank, but I think I, I think I want to on this run. All right, don't be Wallmonger. It's gonna be Wallmonger, but don't be Wallmonger. Really not the biggest fan of the Wallmonger. You know what, just, yeah. Put yourself out. At least it's not frickin' DD20 mode with the, uh, the two snipers. I need, to, I need to do this better. Yeah, there we go. Wait for the shots to pass and then do the dodge. I actually, that was very fast. I wasn't paying attention to the boss at all. So it was a very big surprise when we killed him. We got another Guan Stone. This one's a little bit more permanent. We have not found the secret room, so we will look. I don't see it. Could be in the shop. It's not over by Elder Blank Man. Yeah, I think, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's buy the frickin' Elder Blank and let's have fun. There we go. Hello, Mr. LJ. Look, I thought I'd check. I want to save the blanks. You know, even though I'm getting four per floor, we're still at plus one, so why don't we just save it? Frickin' secret room could be anywhere. Maybe it was obvious, maybe not. If I get a bunch of ammo drops, theoretically I can keep using the elder blank and not have LJ attack me at all. At least until we get hit and we lose damage in the Polaris, then I think I think that'll cause him to uh, to appear. Maybe not though. Cause like the rad gun, not was it the rad gun? No, it's the um, it's a different gun, like trip gun, I think. We'll make him appear. Yeah, just freaking kill him. Shoot to kill. I like that motto. There we go. Don't forget you've got the freaking Elder Blank though, you know. Just because it's a very strong item, doesn't mean you shouldn't be using it. I really wish that I could get super cursed though with uh, with cursed bullets or uh, the other thing. The thing that gives you coolness for curse. Sixth chamber, right. You know, I'm just gonna stay here. <laughs> Feel like I can actually do some good work. Pop the Elder Blank, why not? Out of ammo. Good time to run out of ammo, I think. And we'll use the uh, mass shotgun. So we've got LJ after us now. We knew it was gonna happen. Where is he? There he is. 
We knew this was gonna happen. Um, we should probably open with like a little bomber. This is a, uh, this is scary though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that coming. Bad dodge on my part. It's been a while since I've had LJ after me. This might take a little bit getting used to. You did not shoot at all. Gotta remember also, I can keep him in the wall and stop him from hitting me. Oh my god! We can't use mass shotgun, I don't think. Which means that... I actually don't even know what hit me there. I don't think we use mass shotgun. I think we use something like the uh, robot's right hand, eye of the beholster. It's not looking good, though. <laughs> That's the price you pay for getting super cursed. We got a gun muncher. We're gonna use that gun muncher? Probably not. Oh, they're all... Actually, all but one of them are jammed. These guys take a lot of shots to kill. This is not good. <laughs> I should not have picked up the Elder Blank. If I wanted to live, anyways. Gonna have to be a little bit more quiet from now on. I try to make these dodges. You know what? Let's go away. We gotta go this way anyways. Let's kind of do a little bit of a back and forth motion here. We do pierce with the uh, eye of the beholster. We should use that to our advantage whenever we can. Oh, it's taking so many shots to kill things. We did not get very far. <laughs> not at all. Keep running. Did find a secret room. Thank you, Elder Blank. We should be using Elder Blank a lot more often, I think, is what we what we should be taking away from this. Fine, can't hit us. God damn, it takes a million years to kill anything. That chest might be wicked, and we don't have any keys, so we should just keep exploring, I suppose. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Do not let him kill the shopkeeper. That would be very bad. I think Beholster, it's 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 fine enough, but I really want to get some more ammo for the Or the uh, other gun, whatever it was called. Polaris, that was the name of it. Could you leave me alone for a second? I mean, I know I, I summoned you with my bullets and my curse. But could you just go away for a second? Yo, I think we do rock the mass shotgun, at least for a little bit. Open up rooms with it, maybe. Especially if we have time away from LJ. Because this is getting a little bit ridiculous. God damn it. Good. I hate it when the ghost spawns over there.
Good stuff, good stuff. Get away, get away. Teleport! Oh my god. <laughs> Hate it. Well, I mean, that has nothing in it. Okay, we want elephant gun. We want mass shotgun. Maybe what I should do is just, just go to the shop real quick. Look for a key, look for ammo. There are two keys, we're gonna buy them. And we're gonna go. Sniper rifle, shades of revolver, those are good stuff. Good items, good guns. Deal with them later. Stinger is awesome. We've got six blanks to flawless at. I mean, I hope we'll be fine. Uh, let's go here. We really need an ammo drop for the Polaris. I do not feel comfortable without one more ammo drop for the run, rest of the run. Feel like we're gonna run out of run out of juice at some point soon. It just gets here so fast. It doesn't give me any time. Away. At least we're still killing them in one shot with the uh, the mass shotgun, but could be better. I was really kind of counting on the ammo efficiency of the uh, the mat of the mass shotgun, the uh, Polaris to keep me going, but we need a, we need the freaking Polaris ammo now. Well, I mean, we knew that this room was coming at some point. Run, run, run. There was nothing here. I should have checked that earlier. That's okay. Could have just gone around the room and not risk taking damage. Oh. Kill him. It's one extra penny. You stopped my shot, you piece of crap. Go kill the chrome cube. Chrome cube's gotta go. Also, don't light yourself on fire. Got another key. We can go open the chest from the secret room without worrying about the second chest on this floor that's gonna have a passive. I think it's gonna have a passive anyways. Uh, this room sucks the big one. not even the first part, it's this part here, because we've got a jammed cultist. Um, I mean, remember you've got the uh, elder blank you can use. This guy's gonna take a lot of lot of hits to kill. He's he's a he's an annoying piece of crap. Him and his friend. I mean, I see him. He's up here. He's still bouncing around, though. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Okay, okay, okay. 85 shots in the mass shotgun and the elephant gun. Wonderful. That's a key, that's a chrome cube. Just die, please. Thank you. No reinforcements on this room. Lovely. Let's go. Oh, this is not good. I want to wait for this guy to come to me since I have LJ kind of on the ropes here. There we go. Take your time.
Haven't needed to use the Elder Blank, although I should probably be using it a little bit more often. You know, use it or lose it, right? As long as the mass shotgun keeps us going, though, we don't need to use it. So we're probably getting really close to the boss fight here. Oh wait, no, this is gonna be another chest. The boss fight's gonna be on the uh, the other side, I think. Yep, 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 yep. I said yep, 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 because I thought I was gonna take some damage there. Luckily I didn't, but if I did, I would know exactly why. I would have done it to myself. That's, that's dumb. That's quite dumb. Light him on fire. That was not far enough to hit. Good stuff, we got a chest. You know what, LJ? I want like two seconds to look at this chest. So I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you to, to go away. We'll come back in a second. Push him into the pit, maybe. Ah, he's dead. <gasps> Ammo for the Polaris! It's at level one, but we can we can recharge it on the next floor. Potentially. Uh, we should probably not even worry about it on this, on this floor, because it's gonna take It's gonna be a little bit difficult getting it charged up. But let's let's open the next chest. Buy stuff from the shopkeep. Get the hell out of here. Not a mimic. Radiated lead is fine. No idea where the secret rooms are. I've also got to be a little bit careful about what I do with LJ here. You know, I don't want him to uh, destroy the shop. So I think what we're going to do... Let's pull him over here to the left. Do -do 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 -do. He's not going to touch the shop. Then we're going to come down here. Open the secret room green chest. Go back to the shop, see what she has for sale. And then fight the boss! It's going to be a jam dragon, I imagine. Maybe even fight the boss with the Proton Backpack, but the Proton Backpack, at the very least, is good for the, uh... the skull phase of the fight. Do we want a Gun Munch? I think we do, and I think we want a Gun Munch the Little Bomber with the Triple Crossbow. The Triple Crossbow's not that good, and at this point, we don't even really need the Little Bomber. Because uh, there's only one secret room on this floor, and I haven't found it, so... Oh, no, we, we already found it. Wish this animation was a little bit faster. We get lowercase r, which is total trash, but that's fine. We weren't doing this trade because we thought that we would get a good thing out of it. We did this trade because we could. And yeah, we already found the secret room using the elder blank, so it doesn't matter. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, we want to go to the shop real quick. Our a few good guns. I think we take the sniper rifle and Smiley's revolver. We actually can't afford them both. That's fine. We might be able to afford something else in a, in a mo moment, but for now, we are just going to... head up here to the dragon fight. I think we do want to use... Bundle of Wands... Proton Backpack. Now we teleport back and we wait. Okay, six blanks. Elder blank. Lord of the Jam. That sounds like a Friday night. Here we go. I think we do open with the bundle of wands. Yeah, Jam Dragon. Forget how, the, how being jammed affects things here. It's been a while. I know that DD20 mode dragon is worse. I guess jam dragon just has a slightly higher shot speed, maybe. You know what? Just do this. Shots can land. Now we do this. I guess the shots just like to travel into the corner a little bit more. 
Gotta remember, as soon as we get LJ here, we gotta kinda like hug this wall so he can't attack. It's a little bit annoying, but I think it is for the best. We do this for as long as possible. We have Elder Blanks, we have Blanks. Hug the back wall. This is a perfect attack. He's standing here. Oh, we got rid of one SMG. I think we do kill this SMG as quickly as possible. Good stuff. Let's start moving back to the left. I like staying on the left for some reason. Why are you doing an attack? You're not supposed to be attacking me. I think we use Proton Backpack. We have Elder Blanks, six blanks. We do our best. This is probably gonna be our highest damage dealer. We got the Flawless. You know what, that's fine. Probably gonna use another blank when he does his swing. Can't really see what's going on, but that's okay. Stay a little bit far away. It, this is gonna take at least one more phase, maybe two more phases. We got it though, we got it, we got it. Try to save as many blanks as possible. We're gonna use one right now, just because I didn't feel comfortable. I think we got the dragon, I think we got him. No, the, uh, the beam missed! Oh no. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I kinda didn't mess up the beam a little bit there. Had to use a blank there. I'd use another blank. We got one more, one more, one more. All we need is one more. There we go, there's the flawless. Good stuff. I like the color scheme on the Jam Dragon, how like the centerpieces are bright red and then the rest of it is kind of black. Okay. We good? Are we good? Still low on ammo, but we have the Polaris. We are gonna be using the Polaris. Get this shit leveled up. Shop lady? Anything? I'll take a flare gun. You know, maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll need it. Or maybe I'll just like gun munch it at some point. We already gun munched though, so we're fine. As far as that goes. We've got a level one Polaris. It's gonna be hard getting it leveled up. I think we should have something else on our secondary slot, like maybe the, uh, Elephant gun still, in case we need it, but we gotta get this Polaris leveled up. If we can get it to level two, level three, we have we have ammo. We have enough ammo and enough good guns to make this work. I, I say that like it's it's not gonna work anyways, but I don't want to get too cocky about this. You know, we're jammed. It's not gonna be easy. It's doable. It's doable if I play well. But especially facing LJ, I often don't have the greatest track record of being able to uh, do good on this fight. You know what? Just pop the blank. Elder blank is charged. Oh, I got shot from the back? That sucked. You know, let's just use something else against this guy. Oh, I switched guns! I am such an idiot. Oh, fuck me. I, I screwed this up horribly. Absolutely terribly. This is not what you want to do here. Right, it's gonna be more enemies. I think we still try to get the Polaris leveled up, but we don't worry about it maybe nearly as much. It's gonna take a lot of ammo to get this thing leveled up. Ooh. This is an interesting one. Okay, we can we can wait for a second. Mass shotgun, no. Bundle of wands. I think we take it so that we know we have ammo to kill the boss. I 
think we still rock the Polaris. It'll work. You just gotta believe in the Polaris and the power of the P gun. Not the Mega Hand gun, the B gun. Oh, this is this, this is not good. Helps if I actually hit my target, but so many jammed enemies, and that was a dumb dodge. Um, the Polaris is unusable. We're taking too much damage trying to get it to be uh, to to work here. I can't dodge everything and LJ at the same time. I think we have to. Uh, I mean, we can try, but I think we got to accept that the Polaris is is done. I could be um, also running away a little bit more, getting LJ uh, away from me, but. I don't want to abuse that too much. Fucking Christ, these dodges are killing me. I've got the Elder Blank, but I, I keep thinking I can make the dodges and they and they fail me. That's my problem, but still. And I, I get more Blanks too. Okay, Polaris is gone. Um, we're just gonna be using Shades' Revolver, Smiley's Revolver, one of the two. Might even just want to like pop the Elder Blank right now. This is, uh, it's rough. It's been a while, I feel like, since I've had LJ following me, so I'm not, I'm not fighting him as well as I should have. Are you telling me that he actually managed to get a shot out in the frame that I killed him? I've taken like six hits, five hits of damage on this freaking floor so far. We're not even like a sixth of the way through it. This is, this is a throw and a half right here. God, and there's so many jammed enemies. Like I know there's a 50% chance of an enemy to be jammed, but come on, this is ridiculous. That's why some things feel weird when I get hit because I've got the blue guan stone on my on my side on my time, whatever it's called. As we'll use it when we uh, are not battling enemies. What? I mean, I know that was a stupid dodge, but I didn't realize that the bullet was hanging around in, in air very slowly, and it's gonna hit me. Oh my god. Okay, let's let's stop worrying about the damage and just start like using Elder Blank. <laughs> I think is what we need to do here. I should also probably be uh, pulling LJ away from me a little bit more frequently, but. You know, whatever. If we haven't done it now, we're not gonna be doing it. I think this is gonna go down, so we wanna go up. Could be the wrong way. Ideally, I think I would do one more room. Ah, yeah, this is gonna, this is gonna turn around, I think. There we go. That was such a dumb dodge. Just wish everything wasn't jammed. I think I'm going the I think I'm going the wrong direction, but I don't know, so I am going to do the middle path a little bit more. Cuz we got we got to make sure that we do this as quickly as possible. This still doesn't tell me anything. That was almost really bad. Guys just fire so quickly when they're jammed. Oh, I think this is going down. Yeah, okay. So up is the correct direction here. At least we didn't get hit. Use a little bit more ammo. I don't know, mass shotgun elephant gun? 
As long as we're still one hit killing things, I mean, this, I think this is fine. It's also really good at being able to knock enemies into pits, which I like. Might as well do this when I have a second. Out of ammo for the players. It is it is gone. Bullet, bullet. Bullet, bullet. Let's go. Ammo is always a problem on these runs, man. This is where we elder blank. Oh my god, they're so fast. I don't know where the uh, whiz bang shot is, can't see it. Keep shooting, just keep shooting. There's gonna be more enemies, you know there's gonna be more enemies. Wish I had like a table tech blank. That would have been like the best pickup from the shops earlier. How are you not dead? Okay, uh, that was a little scary. Should not do that. Can you die? You know what? Your, kill your little uh, popcorn friend so he doesn't hurt me. Got another blank, more ammo. Okay, ammo is good. Ammo means Smiley's revolver. And so I think we rock Smiley's revolver. Uh, we should use the elephant gun first, I think, then we'll use Smiley's revolver. This is a pretty strong gun here, you know, it's, it's not, it's not a slouch. Good, no second wave of two gun nuts. That was a close one. You know what? Not the right way to go, but that was still a good couple of rooms. When we fight LJ, I'm gonna lure him away, but I will let him continue to get close to me. This is gonna suck a little bit, but hopefully it's not gonna be that bad. Should really be using the mass shotgun for this, I think, because these guys are all like trapped and stuff. That's a good spot for them to be. Get away, get away, get away. Out of ammo, no problem. See those shots? Came in at a very tight angle. You see that? Why did I get super cursed? This is, this is a bad idea. I think we blank this up because I think we'll get the uh, the next charge on Elder Blank here and in fact we are gonna do that see this is an opportunity when getting that orange might have been nice because we would have a, uh, a coolness upgrade and then the Elder Blank would be charging a little bit faster I don't know, flare gun? Pretty weak, but honestly, I don't think we need any other guns right now. Save the ammo. For what? I don't know. Freaking Lich might have 10 million health because he's super jammed. Anything's possible. Oh my god, I didn't see that coming. That wasn't, that wasn't flare gun, that was me. Also, uh, 
it's not that. Yes. I was gonna say also it's kind of unfortunate that we are going to be fighting. Uh... You know what? Let's pop that. Looks like we are gonna be fighting the uh, second phase of the Lich while the first phase is there because uh, the first phase and second phase are gonna be next to each other as far as the map placement goes. I'm using up way too much ammo, but. I mean, what guns do I have to fight the boss with? Frickin' flare gun? You know, this is actually a good opportunity to use the flare gun. Every enemy here is jammed. <laughs> you can't tell me this is normal. This is not normal. The, this is the problem with becoming jammed, is that if you don't have... Ah, oh shit! If you don't have a ton of ammo, what the hell are you gonna do? Everything takes a million bullets to kill and I have no good damage upgrades. Probably should have just not taken Elder Blank. You know what? We got it. Pop it. What hit me?! I actually do not know what hit me. I didn't see anything. Was it the fr Did he like spawn his uh, his whiz bang close to me? Oh my god, I hate it so much. All right, LJ, get your ass over here. I've had it with you. We've got bundle of wands, stinger. We actually do have some decent guns to fight the lich with. Freaking too many jammed enemies, man. I should make it like a rule of thumb that unless I have good damage upgrades, I don't get cursed because it's taking far too long to kill enemies. I mean, some of it is my my problem. Most of it's probably my problem, but it, it sucks, man. I'm not going to be able to destroy all of his bullet patterns, but we don't need to. Just a few of them every once in a while. I want him to spawn enemies so I can freeze them. There's his friends. I, don't, I didn't really like doing that, but it's fine. This guy's gonna take so much, so much ammo to kill. Yo, don't, you have the explosion knock him into me, please. <laughs> we gotta save the blanks, so don't use them unless we have to. We got the elder blank, we can use it whenever we want. Only right now. So it's basically gonna take one gun worth of ammo to kill this guy, right? That was so dumb. I don't mind this attack. Even if we miss, we're still getting value out of this, out of the bees, the sting bees. Okay, four shots left, then we probably use the proton backpack. Pull LJ as far to the right as or left as we can, I should say. As our boss fight is gonna be right next to this room. See, it's right there. And as a result, LJ is gonna be here super quickly. Luckily, though, we can stand in the back. Hopefully, stop him from attacking. This is not a jam glitch. We have an elder blank. We're gonna save it. This attack. Good stuff. Uh, we need another gun and we need to dodge. Uh, I used a blank and got hit. That is not what you want to do. Got an elder blank. 
LJ is not able to hit me anymore, I don't think. Running a little bit low on Proton Backpack, that is fine. We're gonna use a blank on this. Oh, we're, we're not. Dude, perfect. Need another gun. Bundle of wands. Don't use the blank, don't use the blank. Four blanks, six HP, I think we got it. I think we got it. This is a, this is a tough fight though. this because you gotta time both attacks at once. That's a little bit laggy. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I was a little bit too slow on that blank, otherwise I could have stopped him. This is a spin to win though, this is a good one. Should've used Elder Blank, that's fine. Oh! This is gonna be an Elder Blank. At some point when uh, LJ shots come up. No, maybe not. It's too much dark red. Makes me scared. I used a blank and got hit. That's unfortunate. We are gonna win though. We have just enough HP and guns to make this work. And blanks. Well, there we go. I mean, we did it. However, it was not worth picking up the Elder Blank. It just took far too much ammo to kill things. We couldn't get the Polaris charged up. I definitely screwed that up a little bit. But it's still a victory, so it's still fine. But that was a little bit unnecessarily stressful. You know, give me curse bullets, I will take it. Give me the coolness upgrade, this, the uh, sixth chamber, I'll probably take it. And hey, I took the Elder Blank, you can't get mad at me for not getting super jammed on this run. We actually did Flawless the Dragon too. We had some amulets which were very helpful. And our gun selection was pretty good. I really love getting the Polaris, but unfortunately we just couldn't get it charged up and powered up. Oh, but thank God that's over. <laughs> thank God that's over, and uh, thank God we didn't destroy the streak. So that's 17 in a row. Thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. And I hope to see you here for the next run of Enter the Gungeon.